Hi guys, um, just going to do a follow up review on this Lixida stove. I've had it quite a while now. Um, what I've found is if you make some nice little bricklets, they're quite good. So I'm going to boil up a drink and I'll come back to you in a little while. So guys, as I said, uh, I'd like to do a little final review section on this just to tell you what I think of it. And in a nutshell, really, all I can do is give it a, a solid thumbs up. Been super impressed with it. I've used it probably already 15 times. Um, I may not have done all the videos with that, but uh, every time I've noticed though how robust it is, it doesn't warp, it hasn't gone out of shape. It can handle any kind of pan. Um, and Lixida, I mean, it sort of exceeds everything, so excuse the pun there, like. Small logs to decent sized ones, you can keep them on, uh, gently blowing it every now and then just to get them established, and it goes and burns for ages. No problem in boiling a kettle, a stove, uh, and we're going to make some more coffee in a little bit. So I give this Lixida a total thumbs up, guys. Uh, I recommend it to anyone. Extremely sort of... Uh, versatile in many ways i.e. it lays in this nice smooth flat pouch that goes in your rucksack in your front patch, uh, pouch on the top pouch uh, or inside pockets so uh, i don't think you could ask for anything more really the weight of it is minimal it hardly weighs anything considering it's a robust steel so that's all i want to say about it i'm going to finish my coffee and catch you on the next video guys okay guys thanks for watching um as always, when you're out in the, the wilderness or just out for a trail and you want to brew, try your best to always leave no trace. We've really got some issues going on out there at time to time. So uh, let's stick to the ruling, guys. Take care. See you on the next video.